Hello and welcome to this quick Archline XP installation video. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install, uh, where to download the new Australian template pack, how to install it, and um, just a very quick overview of how it works. Right now the first thing that you want to do is you want to go over to archlinexp.com.au and you want to download the template pack here in resources 2d 3d template pack now this installation works only for archline xp pro um, and we'll be making another video for archline xp lt all right so we have an overview video here which kind of covers the more detailed way of using the template pack and it goes through each part of it but in this tutorial we're just going to be showing a very quick installation All right so you want to download right here um, and what that's going to do is you're going to download this uh, zip folder okay now you just need to go ahead and extract this into into a different folder okay now I've already done that so I have that stuff open here right so we're just going to go ahead and open this template project. So this is going to be a project that's already been set up with all the sheets. Okay, so you can just go open with Archline 2020. Right, so you can see here there's a template and there's some sheets. So everything has been set up. Um, now I won't go through how to use these because that's covered in a different video. Right, so to install it, um, so to install all the default, essentially the settings, so we're transferring the settings as an import, you just go to open and save, you go here transfer settings and files from one project to another, you just go edit, and then you just go import, you go browse, and you just need to find the folder which will be desktop okay so the one that you want to import is this file this will contain all these other ones however if any of these other ones are missing you can just download so you can import these individually okay so we're just going to import them all at once so that's going to be style settings dot environment okay so we just open this and go next Okay, and commence. All right, this is going to ask you to override everything, and we'll just go yes. And we'll just go okay. We'll just go yes. Okay, now this is going to take a few minutes. All right, now once this comes up, you're just going to go okay. Right, and typically you would just click yes, okay, to delete current settings and replace them. Okay, um, there's also an option to merge, so if you have something already, you'd want to merge it. Generally, we just go yes to delete and replace. Okay, and we'll just go okay. Um, yes. Okay, and now we just need to restart Archline, so we'll go finish, close, and we'll just go close, right, and we'll just open this project file again. Right, now if you look here in walls, um, all your files should be ready to go here on the left hand side. Um, so there will be some walls, some slabs, um, etc, etc. Now the only thing that you might just want to check out is down here in settings. Um, if you go down to user interface, see I'm currently on the Australian one, so you can choose between these. However, the ones that you actually want to remove is all the default ones as they're currently outdated and they're being replaced by this pack. Right, so the way to just remove all the uh, default template 
stuff is um, just to close this, right? And then we're just going to go into the folder and delete them. So if you go uh, folder explore options, file explore options, um, you need to go to view. Make sure that hidden files and folders is ticked as show. Okay, so once you've done that, click apply and then click OK. And this is found here, folder explorer options. Okay, now we're just going to go to the file. Okay, we'll go to the local drive and we'll go to program data. We'll go to CAD line, Archline XP 2020, templates. Okay, now this depends on which template you're using. If you're using the local Australian template, we'll just click over here. So what you need to do is you need to actually just delete all of these old um, styles. Okay, so these are the default ones and they're outdated. So you need to delete the walls, um, the slabs, and I believe the other one, I think that's those are the only two you really need to delete. Okay, now if we go back to Archline, we just go back to this project template. Okay, now the last thing that you want to do is once you've uh, imported the project settings, um, we'll just go over here to the ground floor. The last thing you need to do is to make sure that this also shows up in any new projects you create, um, you need to right click and go to new default style for other projects. Now you need to do this for all of these, for all of the, um, the walls, for all of the floors, for all of these floors, and that should be about it. Now, for example, to import one of these, for example, let's go columns, we can just go file, import, and you can go to that template folder and you can select here from steel columns. So this is actually the full range of Australian columns and it's recommended that you only import the ones that you actually need. So that's the same here as well. And you can, for if there's anything missing, you can import it here. Okay, that's the same for, for example, dimensions. You can right click here, go to property. Okay, then you're going to see right here, there's some dimensions right here. But um, if that's missing, you can just click on, click on the thing, on the icon, and then go right here again. And you can just click import. All right, now that's the basic process of it. Um, but anyhow, once you set this up quickly, you'll have a full template ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed the video and please like, subscribe and leave any comments if you think this was useful for you. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.